In this problem, we have to find the pivot element for each tableau. So we're just going to go through part C and D in this problem. Um, so for this first tableau, um, as we can remember from our three steps in the notes, um, we would have to, um, in the objective row here, go until we find our first negative number, which in this case is our negative one, and then we would go up this column and we have to pick our pivot element from either the two or the zero. So the way that we can tell which one is our pivot element is we have to take a ratio of our right hand side number here, 25, to the two. So we compare these ratios, 25 to two, and 14 to zero. And when we do that, we can see that 14 to zero, so we can also think of this as like a fraction, sort of. So we would have 14 over zero, put an equal sign there, and then 25 over two. But as we can see, 14 over zero would give us an undefined value, so we can't have that. And then 25 over two gives us 12 and a half. So, in this case, R2 would be a pivot element since that's undefined. So two is our pivot element. And that's our pivot element for the tableau in part C. So then we move on to part D and um, we follow the same steps as we did before. So just go to our objective row down here and find our first negative element, which is here is our negative three since it's the only one. And we go up the column here, and as we can see, um, we have our we have a negative two here. Then we also have zero, which would give us, as we did before, we would have 50 to zero, which is an undefined value. Then since we have this negative, we can't have a negative as a pivot element. So as a result, there is no pivot element for this tableau. And that's it.